Melbourne and Sydney has experienced the first demonstration in what will be a worldwide protest by a group calling itself Anonymous against Scientology. Anonymous accuses Scientology of brainwashing its members and charging them for the privilege. Never known to back away, the Scientologists have their own accusations, labelling Anonymous as terrorists and criminals. Brian Seymour has been at the protest rally. In Australia. More than 200 people turned out in central Sydney yesterday, the first wave in a global protest against Scientology. Truth's out there, cult's not free, truth is. A similar protest in Melbourne was followed by protests in Asia, London and Europe and across the United States, including the Celebrity Centre in Hollywood, where Scientology's high-profile parishioners go to well, do whatever they do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The protests were organised online by a group called Anonymous, which has declared war on Scientology. Anonymous, we do not disobey laws. We must wake up at one o'clock and go on our way if we are to avoid being demonised by these people. That's not going to be easy. The Church of Scientology has ramped up the offensive against Anonymous, accusing them of religious bigotry and claiming they are sick twisted souls. They call themselves anonymous. They are hackers on steroids. Anonymous has even threatened to bomb sports stadiums. I believe they're domestic terrorists. Anyone can claim to be a member of Anonymous. It has no leader or meeting house. But we secured the only Australian interview with a spokesperson from the group based in America and she explained what Anonymous actually is. Whenever you made a post on one of the threads, it would say posted by Anonymous. And so people just started taking that up as, you know, well, we are anonymous. There's no anonymous headquarters. There's no website that's, you know, the central, the central website of Anonymous. No one from the Church of Scientology would speak to me on camera, but I was given this statement in which they describe Anonymous as a group of cyber terrorists and accuse them of violence and hate crimes. They then accused me of being anti-Scientology. Of course, we're not. Newspapers and networks here and overseas have run similar stories to ours, which just goes to reinforce a key belief of Scientology. You're either for them or you're against them. My opinion is, is that, look, you're either on board or you're not on board. I'm not sympathetic to either group, but yesterday I was accused by both sides of belonging to the other side. Your cult is a lie. You're spending a lot of life. <laughs> My name's Brian Seymour. I'm the reporter for Today Tonight. Any further attacks that you know may happen that are malicious in nature, we don't really have control over that because Anonymous has no leaders. No matter how Yet Scientology big, does have a leader. He's named David Miscavige. And the only slim chance this planet has rests on a few slim shoulders, overworked, underpaid, and fought. The Scientologist. Brian Seymour reporting. When we come back, Australia's...